Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. What's good, neighborhood? You're back in the lab with your favorite neighbor, your man, Mark Nash. He is I. I am he. Another great episode of Breaking Beats. How y'all feel? What's the deal? We got some breaking news in the heavyweight division. Joseph Parker, straight off of his massive upset of the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder, will be facing Big Bang Jane as the co-feature for Anthony Joshua versus Ngannou. Now, hold on, hold on. I thought Wilder was going to fight Big Bang Jane. Mm, is this a duck? Let's talk about it on this episode. Let's roll that sweet intro first, though. This that squad sound. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Let's talk about it, baby. All right, so this is some breaking news. Now, I was not expecting this, but I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. This is, this is pretty cool. I ain't mad at it. March 8th, they got this car made already, man. Shout out to Saudi getting the business done. Cutting the check, making the fights, getting this thing done pretty fast. As you can see on this card as well, they're going to have Vargas. That's my guy, man. Shout out to Ray Vargas, man. Super cool dude, man. I got to hang out with him um, this summer in Vegas doing a Spence Crawford fight, courtesy of my good brother, uh, Nonito, and the good sister, Rachel Donair, for uh, plugging us all up. Um, also, you see Chamberlain versus Gwen. Tommy Fury versus McGann. I don't know about that one. Y'all, no. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about that. And of course, Hunt is gonna be on this card as well. So, but look, 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 look. Let, let me share the screen so y'all know what I mean when I say these things. This news is broke about 30 minutes ago, a little over 30 minutes ago, and it says Parker versus Jane on the co feature. Now, what's going on? I thought Deontay Wilder. Was gonna face him. Let's click on ESPN and let's see what they got to say about this article. This is uh, coming from Mike Coppinger as well, Sports Illustrated. Other sources have this as well. Um, and it says Joseph Parker will fight Big Bang Jane March 8th, co feature Anthony Joshua in Saudi. Said both fighters are, are Parker's number four, Jang is number five. Da da da. Parker's coming off a dominant victory over Deontay Wilder. We already said that already. Zhang's long defeat came via a controversial decision over Herkovich back in 2022 in Saudi. Uh oh. And he dropped on Herkovich. So, boom, boom, boom. So, uh, the 40 year old from China is the biggest heavyweight contender in the world. Six foot six, 287 pounds. Massive. Massive. Huge dude. Parker's 32. Dang, I ain't know. Hold on. Jang is 40? I ain't know Jang was 40. All right. Thought he was about 37, 38. Well, he's 40. All right. 40, shorty. Uh, Parker, boom, boom, boom. We already said that. Parker uh, has scored four consecutive wins since he lost to Joyce. He lost to Joyce. As you know, Jang beat Joyce twice. And the second time, it was, it was catastrophic. It was dominant. But... You can have that. That ain't even what I'm mad at. A lot of people were expecting Deontay Wilder to be stepping in the ring with Big Bang Jane. Now, me personally, some people are, uh, well, some people are calling this a duck already, already. I know some people are like, ah, oh, you ducking, Joe, you ducking um, the rematch with Joseph Parker, you ducking the smoke with Jane. I don't think so. And I'm going to explain why. 
here's the thing. Only people that I know that want to see Deontay Wilder versus Big Bang Jane next are people that just don't like Deontay Wilder. I mean, you don't have to be a rocket science, a rocket scientist to see Deontay Wilder's performance in that Joseph Parker fight and say to yourself, uh, he might not be ready for Jane. He might not be ready for a lot of these top guys. I didn't think, based on what I saw with the Parker fight, I didn't even think he could be in Ganu. I don't think he would beat Parker in that rematch. And I damn sure didn't think he was going to beat Jane. Anybody, in my opinion, this is my humble opinion, and you got your opinion, you got, I got my opinion, but here we go. We're not going to continue to go back and forth about, about what my opinion is, right? My opinion is... It's a fact. Man, based on what I saw, if Wilder was to get in there with Big Bang Jane, it would be career ending. The only people, in my opinion, that want to see Parker, I mean, I'm sorry, Wilder face Jane next are people that just don't like Wilder and they want to see him get sparked. They want to see him over and done with. And that's exactly what would happen, in my opinion. If he was to get in that ring with Big Bang Jane, it would be over. Career ending. Devastating devastating he, i think he would get stopped brutally this guy's six foot six like they said 287 which means probably 300 pounds <clears throat> and he can box he can box and he can bang and i i, I would favor him to stop wilder in a career ending knockout i don't think wilder would be able to come back from that it would be bad it would be devastating and it would be ugly like he is he leaves himself open too much like in this in this sequence you can see on the screen right here no defense right here just wide open wide open he pulled pulling straight back a lot of times look at this right here and this and this picture that you see right here this kind of how he knocked out uh when i say he i'm talking about jang how he knocked out joy joyce jab to the body coming over the top wilder leaves himself open too bad wilder gotta fix them holes but he gotta fix these holes he got a lot of things he gotta work on in my opinion, before he gets in the ring again, especially with somebody like Big Bang Zhang. Because this guy, is, uh, he's meaner than Joseph Parker, in my opinion. All this pulling straight back like this, giving up your height, your reach, your distance, no guard, man, and you're dealing with a guy with a reach, devastating power like Zhang, it'll be over. But I'm not mad at this fight for Joseph Parker or Zhang. I think this is a great fight for those guys. But my question for you is, what do you think? Is this a duck by Wilder? And more importantly, what's next for Wilder? Who is Wilder going to fight next? Is he going to fight Andy Ruiz? Who's he going to fight? Who would you like to see him fight? Do you want to see him fight anybody at all? Do you think he should just pack it up and go home and retire? All right. Also, y'all leave me a comment on this video. Let me know who do you favor to win this fight between Joseph Parker and Big Bang Shane. My early pick, my early pick is for Jane. My early pick, I got the Chinaman going in there and doing some things to Joseph Parker. But y'all leave me a comment, let me know what y'all think of this video. Like, comment, subscribe. It's your man, Mark Nash, Breaking Beats, where we break down business, entertainment, art, technology, sports, and anything else you and I feel like talking about. It's a hip-hop political sports show with a comedy twist. We like to let the jokes fly. You know why life is serious enough. And boy, oh boy, life is getting real serious in the heavyweight division. Y'all leave me a comment on this video. Let me know what you think. It's your man, Martin Nash. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Hey, it's Antonio Tarver, the champion. You're watching Martin Nash at Breaking Beach. I usually don't do drops, but I'm going to give you one, bro. I'm going to give you one. I love you, champ.